welcome to today's video from NAK Fishing. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. Usually I do my videos from Partridge Lakes on my matches, but today I've come down to a local water. Uh, it's well known for carp, but today we're not going to be fishing for carp. I'm going to be fishing for bream and silvers on the pole, maybe a few cruising. Now, this pond behind me, or this lake, should I say, is rife with big bream, decent sized roach, perch, tench, cruising, but there's also some very big carp in here. But like I said, that's not what I'm going to be going for today. So I've got myself set up now. Uh, I'm just going to plumb up and then we'll get on to the bits that I'm going to be using. Uh, and now I've set my rig up. Right, so my rig for today, I'm just going to be using these uh, rugby ball shanty floats which is 0.3 gram. I'm only going to it's only about three foot here at its deepest so that's all I need. Um, I've got some strung out number nines just here, here, here and then I've got they've slid down a little bit and I've got two number 11 droppers down at the bottom here and back to a 14's hook. Um, the elastic is uh, the midi 12 to 14's hollow which is strong enough to handle any a bigger carp, perhaps like 10, 12 pound, but it's soft enough to uh, not bump any of those little fish. Right, so the baits I'm going to be using for today's session, uh, I've got three pints of white maggots, because I'm just going to be piling those in, like I said, there's so many silver fish in here, that um, they're just going to hoover it all up anyway, so you don't need to be scared of overfeeding. I've also got, I've just soaked some of these two mil pellets there. Uh, I'm also going to be feeding some of them with my grain bait. Sorry, my son's fishing <laughs> beside him and he's just had a decent, what's that? Perch. A decent perch, it's a very nice perch actually. Right, that's the type of fish that we're going to be going for today. There you go. Um, yeah, so as I was saying, I've also brought some, uh, some of these Fuca baits. Um, I've got yellow and white. The thing I like about these is you can actually mould them into any shape you like. So you can make them look like sweet corn or a lump of meat or whatever. I brought some, I've got some ground baits as well, which I've just mixed up. Got very strong smell and lots of particles in it, so hopefully I can get a good shoal of bream uh, into my peg and hopefully bring you some action. So let's get some fishing done. I'm going to start my session off. I'm going to do about three cups. I'm going to do about three cups of this ground bait. You can't really overfeed any of them because there's so many fish. Silver fish, we just hoover this bait up in no time. So I'm not too worried about overfeeding. I'll be on, I'll just show you this cruising in the minute, it's a lovely fish. It's what my lad has just caught, a beautiful cruising. Right down, I'm coming back in. Hopefully I can have the same look as him. He's actually got a Patch of lily pads just to the side of him there what he's fishing to he's only fishing about three or four sections out well, he's had um they smashing me up a bit here now aren't you <laughs> he's already had what three three perks a couple of decent notes and that nice cruising so i've got some catching up to them right double white maggot 
gonna pop it in. Just where I put that grown bit and three big pots. And we've got a bank straight away. A small fish, but you know, like I said, we're only fishing for silvers today. Not doing for any humongous cat. challenge and just fishing on commercials all the time where you're almost guaranteed to catch when you have a big open water like this it gives you a bit more of a challenge I don't think this is a silver fish This is a nice carp. A nice carp or a big tench, one of them. Oh, he's taking off, he's taking off. Whoa. When you're fishing for breeding. This is the kind of thing what you're looking for. Let's see if I can get all of them. That beauty. <laughs> that is a whopper. Right, so I'm into another one. I don't know if this is going to be another big one. It feels like it, though. Big swell. Oh no, I've got a cruising this time. My first cruising of the day. Oh, lovely cruising. <coughs> oh, it's a very quick bite straight on the Feels like a nice fish. Hopefully, this one won't get off.
big swirl there then. I wonder what it is. It feels like a very nice fish. I don't think it's a bream. Could be a tench or a carp. Wow, that is a big swirl. Could be a carp. Just tiring out a little bit. Just trying to can feel it and I pull down to the bottom. Just keep him in front of us, just swimming down. Hopefully, he doesn't take off. A massive swell. Still not got his head out of what's here. I'm not sure what it is. Oh, that's a big tent. And this is extra special for me because this is my first tent I've had since I started back fishing two and a half years ago. And this is my very first tent. That is a beautiful tent. Lovely. About three, three or four pounds. I think it might be another green skimmer. Yeah. There's a little skimmer there. I seem to have started catching more since I've gone on triple white maggot now uh, instead of double and this seem to have really moved into that feed now over this last hour or so it's just after five o'clock and it usually fishes really well on here like in the evening so I think I've got like maybe a shoal of fish in that area now so I'm getting a lot of bites um, but uh, just as you've just seen I've had a tent so I had a big massive bream had a couple of skimmers, a few roach and stuff, but like the quality of the fish is getting a lot better and they're getting bigger. Um, both smaller fish seem to have moved out the peg now, so I'm hoping, um, hoping maybe we can get a few more of those big bream, or a few more nice tench would do as well. I'm really chuffed with that tench. Like I said, I took a gap from fishing for about, I'd say about 15 years um, and then I started back again two and a half years ago and that's my first tench since I started back so 
really, really happy with that. We've had a great day here today so far. Still got hours left yet. Right, so in case any of you are wondering what grain bait I'm using today, I'm using this Vandenide Super Crack Bream grain bait and it says excellent for bream and as you can see it really is because I've had some of that crump of a bream before on my smells really nice, full of particles. Just put them out on the end, I'll just show you. There's a lot of particles in there keeping those bream in the swim and uh, like I said it's working wonders for me today so I definitely recommend that I've just gone back in and we're straight into another fish I feel like a nice one probably another tench to be honest Cruising actually, seen a flash of gold then. Yeah, lovely cruising. Lovely. just after 7 p.m. there and the lights just started getting a bit dim so it's going to be a bit hard to keep on recording. If you have enjoyed today's video please give it a big thumbs up, comment down below and uh, leave, leave a comment to let me know what other videos you'd like to see or if there's a bit that you enjoyed in this video. I've had a great day on here today, I've caught um, massive green, a couple of skimmers, um, fusion a really mixed bag really it's more than what i expected and i thoroughly enjoyed it if you've enjoyed this video then please check out my other videos and hit that red subscribe button below it's absolutely free turn on notifications and then you'll get notified of any new videos that i post thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next video